My name is Dante Noto, and I've been at UC Office of the President since 1997. And for most of that time, I was the Director of Humanities, Arts, and Social Science Research for the UC system. So I was responsible for sort of overseeing initiatives that involved all the 10 campuses, creating research opportunities for faculty and students. I left for a while, I went to UC Irvine to be the Associate Director of the UC Humanities Research Institute. And I came back last year, exactly one year ago, to the Office of the President, what people here call the boomerang effect, to be Director of Development for Education Partnerships, which is uh, the university's efforts related to K-12 and student enhancement and professional development of teachers, and really thinking about the pipeline to the university and the workforce in our role and responsibility in creating opportunity for all kids to have the chance to go to college. I think at the deepest level, what I was most moved by in the end is <clears throat> this photo of an open heart operation at UC San Francisco. Um, it's significant to me personally because I've had heart surgery at UC San Francisco. Um, certainly more modern than this. You know, my heart didn't have to be opened, but it was very advanced, complex, radical surgery. And so I see this and I realize, well, at this point, that's what my surgery would have looked like. And it's kind of horrible to him. I mean, it looks so unsanitary. <laughs> it looks so, so, so horrible that you could see why people died of open heart surgery. And mine barely produced a scar that big because it was all done with catheters and probes and electrodes. But beyond its personal resonance, what I like here is the sense that he's looking at how to get to the heart of the university. Where, where's the humanity here? What's represented by UC and modernity and knowledge? And how do you get inside this, this idea for me of, you know, what, what makes it pump? What's, what's really happening? And how do you photograph it? And how do you get to it? So this one has a great meta, metaphorical value. I love hearts, but not like Valentine hearts. I like hearts with valves and pumps and real looking hearts because that to me su suggests you know real life and power um, human power so so I like this idea of the mechanics and getting into the heart of the university and it's wonderfully complemented by this hysterical photo of lab research at Langley Porter in neuropsychiatric institute what I sort of see here as a metaphor is almost literal here's the University of California with all its knobs and bells and whistles and, and the future and knowledge and space travel and health and all these things and all you have to do is sit home in your recliner attach the electrodes to your head and you too can receive all the the benefits of what this you know spectacular modern university can offer you. It's just got this kind of 60s sort of helping the housewife live a better life, you know, all, you know, better living through chemistry or, you know, buy this vacuum and you'll have all sorts of leisure time. And this one just sort of suggests that she's just relaxing in a recliner and, and this machine, whatever it does, I would love to know what, <laughs> what on earth this machine does. I guess I could read it, but <laughs> I don't think it says specifically what she's doing over here. You know, is her mind being read? Is she emitting information? Is she receiving signals? <laughs> Was this early distance learning? <laughs> I don't know, but her face is so neutral, you know, and she's kind of holding on to the seat like it's about to take off. She's hooked up to the mothership. <laughs> she's holding on, you know, they're about to take off. <laughs> She's receiving her signals, you know, all her memory is being recorded and, you know, everything is happening. And I, I have a great fondness for old mechanical computers and things that just have like toggle switches like on, off, A, B. That, that's how we got to the moon, you know. <laughs> There's probably more power in my iPhone than there is in this whole apparatus. But, you know, this is where it was at the time. So I see this as sort of a little bit about UC and... The, the, the human, the human side.